In this week's weekly tech news and insights, we're going to talk about what are the best CPUs for 2019. So let's get started. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Today we're going to quickly go over which CPUs you should have bought in 2019 and going into 2020, which ones you should keep in mind. First, we're going to separate it into the three different tiers. First is going to be sort of a little bit more budget CPUs. Second is going to be the purely gaming focused. And third is going to be the higher end sort of workstation CPUs. So first, let's tackle the first category of CPUs. Now, any CPU video that you guys watch now, AMD is a big deal. I mean, there's absolutely no way around that. I mean, in 2019, they came out of the gates blazing. And Intel is really up against the wall. It got to the point where it doesn't seem like they even care that they're losing market share. Um, so AMD is really doing a killer job here. And as you guys are going to see with most of the recommendations, that's sort of the direction that it's heading in. So let's talk about the best sort of budget CPU that you can get. Now, remember, I say budget in relative terms here because you can get cheaper CPUs. Um, but this is the one that has the best price to performance ratio and hands down that's going to be the new Ryzen 5 3600. I mean I've even seen these for sale for as low as $169 at Micro Center and you get another 20 bucks off if you buy a motherboard so that's a pretty incredible deal. Um, these have performance nearing last generation's 8700K to some extent and that CPU was massively more expensive. So that's really really awesome that this CPU is priced so nicely. Now there isn't that big of a difference between the 3600 and the 3600X. 3600X technically is just clocked a little bit higher. Usually there's like a $20 premium, so there's no real reason to get it. So now the Ryzen 3600 is a clear winner in this first category. Um, the only other mention from Intel would be possibly the 9600K. I mean, that seems to have come down around the similar price, maybe $179 or something like that. It may have a little bit higher IPC, so it may perform marginally better in some games, but Ryzen 3600 overall is going to be a better performer for, you know, everything across the board. So unless you have a specific Intel motherboard in mind, or you're maybe you're upgrading from something else, I would definitely stick with the Ryzen 3600 here. I think you're going to have a lot more upgradability in the future, and in general, it's going to be the best performance dollar you're going to spend around this budget. Now the second category is sort of that mid-range gaming sector. Now this is a little bit more of a wider net because in the little bit lower end you can get a very fast gaming chip and as you get towards the higher end of this before you get to the workstation CPUs you can get a fast gaming chip as well as a fast workstation chip without having to go in sort of a full-fledged high-end workstation. Now in this category there are a couple of interesting recommendations. Probably the best one straight down the middle is going to be the 3700X. Once again, similar reasons as the 3600. Here, you're going to get a great price. It's around $299. 8 core. It's a blazingly fast processor. It does really well in games. Um, for 300 bucks, it's really hard to beat it. Um, its main competitor here is going to be the Intel 9700K. Uh, recently, that was on sale as well for around $299, um, which isn't a bad price because it can hit 5 gigahertz. So if you happen to have an Intel motherboard already and all you're doing really is gaming, um, then that makes sort of a use case for this processor. But in general, if you're going into this having to buy a motherboard as well as the processor, just get the 3700X. It's clearly the winner in this category. Now the 3800X is interesting but once again it's just a little bit more overclocked and it's a better bin chip compared to the 3700X. So unless you get a really good price on it I would just stick to the 3700X. Now in the same category if you up your budget a little more then we start getting into the 9900K versus sort of that 3900X. Once again here, I think the recommendation definitely has to go to AMD. 3900X is an absolute monster of a CPU. I mean, it's a 12 core CPU that is really good at gaming as well as content creation. And it's around $499. Recently, I saw it for $479 at Micro Center. Now, it's been perpetually out of stock for the last few months almost everywhere, but it has started to pop up more recently. Um, um, and Micro Center seems to have a better stock of it in case you have a store near you. But otherwise, you just have to kind of like take a look online and see whenever it pops up. So personally, I would rather have the 3900X, which is 12 core, over the 9900K, which is an 8 core, 16 thread CPU. 
Now, if you're purely gonna be gaming and you really do want the best gaming performance, it still is the top dog, sort of when it comes down to just the pure numbers. Um, and it's a great CPU. It's still gonna do content creation if you do you know, Premiere Pro or, or Photoshop. It's still a very, very capable CPU. But, I mean, if you can find the 3900X and sort of you're going into a new ecosystem where you have to buy the motherboard anyway, um, I think it does make some sense to get the 3900X. Just remember that the new Ryzen 3000 series, some of the better motherboards are like really expensive. Um, like the MSI Godlike, it's like $700. Um, you know, the, the Gigabyte, you know, Extreme is really expensive. Asus has really expensive motherboards. In general, you may be able to find the Z390 motherboard for a little bit cheaper. So your overall cost of entering into this ecosystem may be a little lower with Z390, but I think it might be worth the investment in the 3900X and sort of that Ryzen 3000 platform because Ryzen has been traditionally really supported for multiple generations. Well, Intel, you know, every couple generations, they switch out the pinouts on the CPU and you have to get sort of a brand new motherboard. So you may have a little bit more longevity with the Ryzen 3900X. Now let's talk about the final category of CPUs. Now this final category is going to be for the people who still game, um, but they do a lot of content creation, so they need something really fast. Now, we have a couple of CPUs to talk about here. Um, once again, right off the bat, if you can find it, the Ryzen 3950X is absolutely insane. Uh, 16 cores, but it has amazing gaming performance, all for $750. Now, a little bit of a caveat here. If you look for them online, you're gonna have a hard time finding them. But recently, I did see a couple pop up here and there at Micro Center for the list price of $750. Um, so it is doable, but you may have to wait a little while longer before you can really, really find one. Um, in a lot of places, they are overpriced at the moment. They're going for like $1,000 plus. If you can snag it up for $750, and if you're talking about the performance to price ratio, 3950X is the best CPU hands down. Now, if you start to open up your budget a little more and you just want flat out the best performance, then you're gonna be dealing with the Threadripper 3960X as well as the 3970X. 24 core and 32 core independently. Now for gaming, these do okay, but they're not really gaming focused. These are really for content creation. And I've seen some of the numbers from Puget Systems when these are being used with, you know, by Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve and programs that they would commonly be used for. And the performance is staggering. They're really sort of in a league of their own. At the moment, there's really nothing close to these two Threadripper processors when you're talking about pure numbers. You know, a step down is sort of the Intel 1098 XC, um, you know, followed closely and often competing with the 3950X. But considering the 3950X is about $250 cheaper MSRP than the 10980XC, you know the deal here once again. AMD is going to win out. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know down in the comments which CPU you're rocking now and which you plan to buy in the next upcoming months. So like the video if you enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.